this long line of cars outside CenturyLink Stadium are all for people who are looking to get tested for coronavirus after the Florida Department of Health announced the largest spike in cases since the pandemic began. This line is longer than I thought it was going to be. Frank Parsons was one of hundreds here at CenturyLink Sports Complex on Monday for testing. He said he started waiting at 9 a.m but didn't leave until afternoon. I'm not worried, but just being preventative about it. But the kids, you know, make sure you're 18 or older and have IDs. And he wasn't alone. Over the weekend, Lee County by itself saw an increase of more than 200 cases and three deaths, with similar spikes in Collier County. There's this huge spike, yeah, and it's because the country's reopening, which is like, obviously that's what's gonna happen, but. And while the numbers locally are staggering, much of the statewide spike is attributed to lines like these, with more available and widespread testing. So there may be increased concern as the numbers are showing a spike. There have been national attention to Florida being one of the states with increased cases over the you know, last few days here. Still, experts differ on what this latest spike could mean and how near or far the end of the pandemic is. And maybe this is still part of the first wave or we could be beginning a second wave and could potentially have a third wave in the fall, but we still don't really know yet. We're still, the jury is still out on a lot of this. And the Florida Department of Health tells me the reason for the spike in COVID numbers is because of an increase in testing capacity. In Fort Myers, Alex Howard, NBC2.